In this video, I'm going to show you how to create chapter-based figure and table numbers. So, you can see here two models for numbering your figure or table captions. The first is just sequential numbering. So, let's say you're in chapter one, you have a couple of figures, figure one, figure two. Now you move on to chapter two, you add a new figure. The numbering continues um, from the previous chapter, and it goes on like that throughout the entire document, sequential numbering. On the other hand, some folks like to use chapter-based numbering, which would look more like this. So if you're in chapter one, um, the first figure in chapter one is figure 1.1, the next figure is figure 1.2, but now if you move to a new chapter, we start over with the first digit indicating the chapter, and then the second digit or the second number indicating um, the number within the chapter. So we go from 1.1, 1.2 to 2.1 and so on. And so I'm going to quickly show you how to do that and how to avoid a common problem that can come up when you try to do this. So let's say we have a couple of figures right here and we want to change this to chapter based uh, caption numbering. So to add a caption, you could go to references, add caption. And by default, it's going to continue the sequential system. But if you see here under numbering, you can choose to include chapter number. And then you can choose what the separator is. It can be a hyphen or a period. The period is perhaps more common, but the hyphen could work as well. So what we're saying is now it's going to do just what we saw on that other page. It's going to do 1.1, 1.2, 2.1, 2.2, .1, and so on. However, we might get this. So it knows it's trying to create a chapter-based numbering, but it comes up with 0 0.1, 0 0.2. What that means is Word does not know where each new chapter starts. And the solution is actually pretty simple, um, but it's important to understand why this is the solution. So basically what you need to do is you need to tell Microsoft Word that every time there's a chapter heading, you've started a new chapter. And let me show you how that works. So if you're using our template at North Carolina a and um, you'll already have these styles set up for chapter headings, heading two, three, four, or five. Essentially what you need to do is you need to add a numbering scheme to the chapter heading style. And once you see how to do it, you'll see it's very simple. It doesn't take much time at all. All you have to do is right click on the chapter heading style. So again, chapter heading is the one we want to work with. Right click on the style and then go to modify. Now there's a lot you can do with this, but you don't need to worry about that. All you need to worry about is the section down here that says format and specifically the section that says numbering. So again, all I did was I right clicked on the chapter heading style, modify, format, numbering. You can choose the simplest um, numerical numbering scheme. So it just says one, two, three, there you have it. Go ahead and click that, click OK, click OK. All we've done is we've said that each time you start a new um, chapter heading, Microsoft Word is tracking automatically the numbering. So if you're using the template and already had these chapter headings, you'll see how this works. Chapter one is now numbered one. Chapter two would be numbered two, so on and so forth. We'll come back to that in a moment, but I just want you to see that this has resolved the problem we had. So now um, you can do it a couple ways, but one way to, to reset the numbers is to just try to add a new caption. So go to references, insert caption, Try again, and voila, it knows that we're in chapter one. And in fact, if you went on to chapter two and you had a figure there, it will have corrected it for you as well. So we're all good. Now, there are two minor problems that come up with the North Carolina a and template, and that's why I want to call your attention to if you choose this method. The first thing is you'll notice that now at the beginning of each chapter, you have this extra numeral, and it, it doesn't really look right. I mean, it says one on both sides of the word chapter, it's not necessary. 
really simple solution um, that I would recommend is if you click on the number itself, you'll see it highlights it because it's actually highlighting all of the um, chapter numbers with the same kind of automatic numbering. And if you just highlight or click on um, those numbers or the number at any of the beginnings of the chapters, you could do something really simple like this. You could just change the text color to white. Um, this would be the text color and I'm just changing it to white. And now essentially what you've done is you've made it disappear because now the heading still looks nice and clean the way we want it to, but the number is in fact still there. And you'll see just by doing that at the beginning of chapter one, you've automatically done it for the rest of the document. Now, if you want to be really fancy and you want to say, well, you've actually indented um, the chapter heading slightly, you can even fix that. So you can highlight the chapter heading and you can use the decrease indent function and it actually moves it back over a little bit. So now it's even more close to what you had originally, but you still have um, the number. And for that, you may have to do that piece for each chapter, but it's it's pretty minor. Um, I might have already done it. Yeah, I think it did already do it. So that's one problem solved. You still have your automatic number, but you can't see it. That's good. Now, the other thing you'll find is if you now update the table of contents, that same automatic number is going to pop up. So it's going to look like this. At the beginning of each chapter, it's going to pop up as, um, you know, as we saw before, it'll say one dot space, 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 then chapter one introduction. There's no way to automatically remove that from the table of contents without removing the, the numbering from here. So all I would ask that you do is just manually place your cursor here in backspace like so to remove it. Um, now, if you update the table again, that's going to pop up again, but this is a step you would take right at the end before you finalize the document and uh, uh, convert it to PDF format. So what I'm basically showing you here is it's possible to very simply um, switch to chapter based numbering. And if you just take a couple of additional steps, you also make everything look nice and clean as you would want it to.